Hey everyone, what's going on? So I'm gonna do a quick comparison between the iPhone 10 and the iPhone SE. And you know, the first thing, I mean, obviously the bodies are completely different. This is a four inch screen. This is a 5.8 inch screen. So there's a huge difference right there. But if you have an iPhone SE, you might be considering, you know, like the iPhone 10 is the best iPhone out there right now. And we're just gonna compare a few things. I mean, starting off with the front, you can obviously see that the iPhone SE is much smaller than the iPhone 10. And overall small, I mean, the iPhone SE can literally fit inside the screen of the iPhone 10, so that's kind of funny. But the iPhone 10 has a 5.8 inch OLED screen, and the iPhone SE has a four inch IPS panel. So you're gonna get better colors, better everything here. I mean, so, I mean, we're comparing apples to oranges here. And just comparing the bodies real quick, we have a 12 megapixel camera back here, but we also have a 12 meg megapixel camera on the iPhone SE. The biggest difference is obviously the iPhone 10s is, uh, you know, more updated, has a dual camera sensor, and you're able to shoot 4K at 60 frames per second, where you're only able to shoot 30 frames per second on the iPhone SE. And that's not to say the iPhone SE is a bad camera. The iPhone SE is a tremendous camera still, and it, you can get really nice shots out of this camera as well. The iPhone 10 also has 3 gigabytes of RAM versus the iPhone SE, which has 2 gigs. The iPhone SE has an A9 Apple chip, where the iPhone 10 has the A11 chip. So you're going to get better speeds, better overall performance on the iPhone 10. But, you know, the iPhone SE still can still hold its own. You know, it's a, it's a compact phone. It has tons of power still left in it. So, I mean, we can just do a quick test of, like, opening up apps. So, like, so let's go ahead and open Safari 321. And even though we, they were loading different pages, I'm surprised the iPhone SE got that in first. Uh, let's go ahead and hop out of these. Let's go ahead and open the App Store, 321. And the iPhone 10 beat it by a little bit. Let's go ahead and open up the camera, 321. That, I would, that's a hard one. Maybe the, the camera will pick it up. I'll put it, it looked like they were both about the same speed. Let's go ahead and open Maps. I haven't never opened this one before, 321. Well, those apps showed my address, so I could not put that in the video, but I mean, like, even though the iPhone 10 on paper is faster, and it is faster in real life overall performance, you're going to be hard to see, like, unless you're comparing these side by side, that the iPhone 10 is, like, extremely much faster. I mean, like, if you're a light user, if you don't really care too much about, you know, having the latest and greatest, the iPhone SE is still going to last you for a while, and even, surprising, the battery life on the iPhone SE is still pretty solid as well. The iPhone 10 does have, like, a much bigger battery than the iPhone SE, but the iPhone SE doesn't have as much power, and it doesn't have you know a huge screen that it needs to power and all that stuff so i mean i will say the iphone 10's battery is better but not to but that doesn't mean the iphone se's battery is bad at all so ultimately i put it like this if you're if you have the iphone se and you want to get like a bigger phone like this size you should consider getting the iphone 8 or the iphone 7 um you know if you want to save a little bit more money but if money isn't a huge factor to you then definitely get the iphone 10 it's it's a dope phone has a lot of performance and it's going to last you for years and years and years like i said it's the best iphone you can get right now and that's really all there's left to it i mean if you want to get this phone though check the link in the description I'll, I'll link some on amazon if there's still some and if you want to get the iphone 8 or the iphone 7 check those links down in the description as well i'll, I'll put them down and guys ultimately whatever you do i'll still love you i promise like i won't hate you no grudges or anything but if you're new to my channel though add me on all the social networks you see on the screen if you enjoyed the video definitely hit a like i'd really appreciate that comment down in the comment section if you guys have any comments or questions or anything i'll be happy to answer them or you know make a video about it. if you guys want me to compare the iphone 10 to something i'll definitely be happy to leave, leave it in the comment section i'm done talking but please hit that subscribe button i'm trying to get 20,000 subscribers by the end of this year I'm pretty sure it's going to happen but i need everyone's support in order to do it so please hit that subscribe button if you can i'd really appreciate it but more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys and hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then